Where am I? What am I doing here? He's awake. Stay back, Belsa. He might be cracked. He might be crazed. Oh, hush now, Gaius. He's just confused, poor thing. Who's there? Can I help you? What's going on? Who are you? Who am I? You're an antiquity. Oops, thank you. He means you're really old. And really fragile. Don't mind him. That's Gaius. He's a bit of a worrier. He fell off a shelf once and he's rather gone to pieces. Welcome to the Seaside Museum, Herne Bay. Your new home. I'm Belsa. That's Saturio. Charmed, I'm sure. And what do we call you? You should have a mark on your bottom. <laughs> Put there by the potter who made you. Oh, don't worry. We've all got one. Shall I take a look? Oh, I see. <clears throat> Would you mind? Well, Marcus, it's very nice to make your acquaintance. You're one of us now. You're a pudding pan. Though pudding pan isn't our official nomenclature, of course. My Latin is as rusty as the shade of red by which we're so identifiable. But on the continent, they call us terra sigillata. And here, they call us Samian, neither of which is very accurate. They don't actually know. You've been on a very long journey to get here, Marcus. We all have. How we got here remains something of a mystery. Saturio's right. We know something about how we came to find ourselves at the Kent Seaside, but not everything. It's like a jigsaw puzzle with missing pieces. Oh, don't say pieces. What's the last thing you remember, Marcus? Hmm... Not a flashback! You know very well all the wobbling makes me nervous! Oh, there you are! How smart you look! Oh, I remember when I looked brand new. Where am I going? We can't be completely sure of the precise location of your geographical destination, but perhaps the great conurbation of London? What's the matter with him? He knows what's coming next. Shipwreck! A giant cephalopod indeed. What nonsense. But was there a shipwreck? Yes, well, probably. Some people think a ship ran aground and they threw the likes of us over the side in an effort to get themselves moving again. Or it was an octopus. One thing we do know for sure is what happened next. <laughs> Now what do we do? We wait. For how long? <sighs> About 1,500 years, give or take. Plenty of time to share my theories on what a shipwreck located in the Kentish Flats might tell us about the maritime transportation and distribution of Roman pottery. As I was saying, many of the ships carried consignments of building materials, but most carried cargoes of And if I could refer great. again to my previous but no less important point about the role of the port of Roman London in the importation... Oh, they're here! Yeah, yes, yes, what? This is it. Get ready. What's happening? We've got a dinner date. Oh dear, do my barnacles look big in this? Hello? Belsa, Gaius, Saturio. Where is everybody? Belsa, is that you? Now where are we? We're in a Whitstable fisherman's cottage. We got caught in their nets when they were dredging for oysters. And there it is. There what is? This is why. Why? What's why? 
Oh, there. This is why we're called the Pudding Pans, because the wives of the Whitstable fishermen served them their pudding in the Roman pottery they found in their oyster nets. Mmm, dessert. Actually, we can't be sure it was a sweet pudding at all. It might very well have been a savory mixture of bread and fish. Pull yourself together, Gaius. He's here. Who's here? The Great Collector! <coughs> ah, yes. Mr. William Holden. Uh, William Holden had a jewellery shop in Whitstable. Paid the fishermen one guinea for their pudding pans. Which was the same as a local fisherman could earn in a week. Some say the jeweller's collection numbered as many as 130 pots. Ah! So let me see if I've got it straight. A Massamian ware pot made by a Roman named Marcus in a place called Lazou in France. And I was somehow lost somewhere off the coast of Herne Bay on my way to somewhere else. After I'm lost at sea, I'm judged up by a Whitsable fisherman and end up on his kitchen table. They call me a pudding pan after the food they serve me. And then a jeweller buys me for one guinea and adds me to his collection. And now, all these years later, I'm here at the Seaside Museum, Herne Bay, so together we can tell our story to everyone else. Lovely, Marcus. I couldn't have said it better myself. Though no doubt he'll try. They're back! Positions, everyone, quickly. Psst. Wait a minute. People are watching. It's just one more thing. What is it, Marcus? I have to know. Know what, Marcus? Are there more of us out there under the sea? Hmm. What do you think? <laughs>